Sorry folks, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Medicine Creek 19. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, I'm just admiring the game's color of the fall here. All these trees, golden, golden, golden brown, or how you say it. Grass looks like it's getting uh, about ready to die. And you're probably wondering, like, where's the Harvest Field 27 at, Mr. Blue? Well, folks, got to take care of a few things first. Um, got the pressure washer behind me, as you can see. Probably should have put a little bit more water in it. Nah, I just grabbed it and took off, actually. That's what farmers do. You're probably like, um, uh-oh, what's going on up here? What's going on, Mr. Blue? Folks, we have a buyer. Guy stopped and asked me and said, What would you take for those two trucks? The flat noses, that is. And I said, Well, I don't know. Quote me a price. It's going to give me $25,000 a piece for them. So we're going to be getting $50,000, folks, off of these two. He also wanted to back to, but I told him I had to wait till after harvest to decide on them so yeah let me shut this noisy tractor off so y'all can hear me a little bit better but all four is going to be sold the two back here and these two right up here are going to go first so this guy's probably halfway across the state if not more oh this is going to be noisy please excuse me i'm going to try to talk and watch too so i'm going to save some time not too bad when you get away from it. But, uh, yeah, turn some light on here so I won't miss no spots. Uh, yeah, we got field 27 to harvest. It's a contract, folks. But as you can see up there, with my time and monies on top right, it says late autumn. Check out, you, you also see like a cloud. And right beside that is our wet symbol. It's like a plant with a little raindrop beside of it. That means combines will not go. Now we we can uh, do tillage and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, no harvesting. The moisture is just too high for the combines to take it. But anyway, that that's that's not a problem right now. I, I'm saying. Uh, probably about 11 o'clock, we'll be ready to harvest. This, um, no, I just seen it a little while ago. I guess the clouds went back behind it. It's right in there somewhere. That's the brightest. It must have went behind those clouds right there. Anyway, the sun was out for a few minutes. But let me get finished washing this. And um, we'll, we'll come back here in a minute as soon as we have them all loaded up and stuff. So, yeah, be right back, folks. All right, folks, remember that herbicide we put in these tanks up here on this tractor and give it more weight that will pull this planter and stuff? Well, I just got it all out. We probably won't hold as much out of this, and, but... You can see on the bottom right how much I got left. Please hold it all. Anyway, while that's doing that, I know it's gone. Oh, I already took it. Good. Even better. As you can see, uh, we got our side, saddle tanks on the side here. These here. They uh, are empty the 301 right there that top bar orange bar as you can see beside of my uh my spire that would be this tank here uh it's got the 
if I detach, you can see right there it goes away. Yeah, that's one that's got the weight in it. We're going to take these side ones off, and we're going to mount them on a different tractor later on. Uh, but we're fixing to put this planter away and stuff for the winter. So that's why I'm getting this herbicide out. I'm going to use what we got in here first, which I think it's going to be uh, way too much. We got 96% full. But this is what our weeds look like. That was a long auto save. But anyway, field five and field four is ours. But as you can see, we done limed them. There's no lime on it whatsoever. Matter of fact, that's our lime buggy we're going to get back to the shop. But anyway, three, one is, uh, da, 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 what is that? Canola, right? Yeah, canola. And then field 19, well, that's not the right one. That's the right one. Canola. Yep. And wheat, 19 and 18. Oh, surrounding areas too. Gonna have a big wheat harvest where it looks. But anyway, in uh, 2, 13, 14, and uh, this big chunk right here, it's our land too. It's all grass. And don't forget about field 60 up there is ours, and it's all grass. So, yeah, we got a lot of mowing to do, too. Which I don't know we'll get to it before the ice falls or whatever it is. I want to show you that here in a minute. But also, we want to go in here at sowing field 32. Uh, Christy just got through doing that. So, we're going to collect that contract. Then we got field 47 fertilizing uh, ice daemon just got through doing it or demon so uh, we'll collect that and field 21 has been done look at that folks 70,000 collect that so now we have two more harvesting to do and uh, we're 96 percent on field 48 uh, cultivating uh, field 27 we just got to wait till our uh, uh, dude gets off so we can do it. Uh, field 47, right up here. We got uh, Kyle and Jillian up here doing it. He's going to go all around here and back around here. I wish this would have went this way. But this way I set up course plate, folks. So. But anyway, uh, was that all I showed you? I think so. But anyway, we got to spray some weeds now. I figured it'd be the perfect time. Because uh, we can't do nothing else. I'm hoping, like I said, I go about 11 o'clock. We can go do some harvesting. But uh, they, they got the trucks loaded. Uh, Mr. Yankee. And uh, a couple of others. So, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right in here. I, I should have went and filled behind right there, but it don't have that many in there. Filled one has the most. Uh, get down here to it, and you'll see. Yeah, filled three only got one spot. Filled one's got quite a few. So, yeah. What I like about this machine, though, <laughs> it's spot sprays, so. But yeah, uh, I'm glad we finally got the uh, custom modern sprayer all set up like it's supposed to. 2020 all the way around. That's boom, 120 foot boom. So, yeah. I've been wanting to look around in that barn there before we uh, we need to come down here and clear out some more trees too. Especially right down there. I want it where we can go straight across. But that that's coming folks. We just got to do it a little bit at a time. Turn this baby on. and see the little puffs come out across letting us know it's all clear. And like I said, we will not spray until it detects a weed.
But anyway, um, I guess I'm going to do this. I'm going to set up GPS right up here. I thought there was a piece of weed down here somewhere. I guess not. Oh, right there on the corner. Gotta get it. And there's still some there in the corner. Okay, so it definitely knows where its weeds are at. Back up here. Okay, right there. Right on the edge of the field. Did it get that? Yeah, I got it that time. Alright, folks, I'm gonna do some of these. I might not do all the fields, but I'm gonna do quite a few. One thing about this sprayer here, there is no collision on uh, the wings now, so we have to be very careful. I mean, there's collision on the wings now. The other one didn't have it, so yeah. All right, did it make it? Yep, a little bit off, so we'll hit all home and up button. And it's right there on the edge, so we're going to start spraying. Oh, bring that back up. I want to bring the whole thing down some. There we go. Close to the ground, that way I won't spread so much. Do we have a uh, some weeds down through here? Now, when we start getting in the weeds better, probably feel 19 or 14 there. I'll show you some more of the action. Should be some action right here on this side. Yep, there it goes. Uh, that's that's why I'm saying this. We'll probably use a, a quarter of a tank out of this, if that. That's why I love this advanced technology, because it really, really helps out. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, folks, I'm starting on field 2, 13, and 14 here. I already done the one. This is what the course generation looks like. Yeah, I got to turn that off. Sorry about that. I already sprayed field 1, and right here I sprayed that. You see how it just disappeared? It's pretty thick. Then it just did disappeared to these two dots each. And these did the same way. I don't know what's going on with these, but I think I'll, I'll let it set too long. I tried to spray it as soon as some of these come up. So, yeah, I, I, we're just going to do what we can do. That's all we can do, right? Um, I'm going to start this at first waypoint. Drive course. Stop at the last. And I just hope. No funny business. And let's see. Oh, like he's got a patch of pink right there. Let's see if everything works right. I'm going to close this. It'll still be running. Is that the speed of six? Are you going six right now? I want to. Slow his actual speed down to about 12. And I wasn't even watching to see if he got those weeds or not. Oh, get back in. Stop, stop, driver. We are going to. Back up for a second. I need to change this to nearest waypoint. Turn on this. See, I see some weeds right here. See, right there? Why didn't you get them? It almost look like it's too late. See right there? It left some. I uh, don't know. Now, I might have to go back to the other boom. At least the other boom was working good. Hmm. 
Alright, should be right here. It's drive course. Just see what it's going to do. It don't look like see even you still see a little pink dot right there where that R is going across. It's giving a little bit to move up there. See that little pink dot bottom of that R beside the two there. But that's what we was doing. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder, folks. Well, we'll let him run, see what he's going to do. Uh, it's still too wet to do anything else. Oh, I do want to show you something. While we're up here, uh, I had him come in, but strip the grass away. I'm still climbing. There we go. I really don't know how we use this, but oh, there we go. That's a corn dryer. It should be uh, like beans too. Uh, propane zero. We gotta remember that when we go cut corn, but put up here. But anyway, I have them cut all the uh, grass and stuff away from here, and put down the fresh gravel. Gravel. They didn't get very far. Uh, but what I do want to look at is this is our seed maker, and this stuff here. I only use. Genuine germ. I can't pronounce it right. But anyway, we gotta get some of that. And then here's where we put our wheat, barley, or oats, looks like. Either or. And then it mixes the chemical with other stuff, and then it makes uh, seeds. And this is a shelf for the chemical to use for it. So. And if I'm not mistaken, the seeds we can take out and put into our silo here. And I think that's what these back tanks are for. If I can get through here, I fit through here. Yeah, oh yeah, these tanks here, those should be the ones that holds the seeds. So yeah, I, I did uh, find this truck in my mods folder. And um, hopefully I sped the unloading up on it, but we'll find out soon. Um, we still got trees. I want to gut these up and use them for wood chips. Uh, I got some logs here, but the rest of that there can be wood chips. So there's just a lot going on, folks. Uh, that's some of the stuff we can do now. And uh, you're probably wondering what kind of combines I got. Uh, well, we got our old one, which is this one here, our 9610. That needs a bath badly. But um, I want to show y'all here. Let me jump in here, fire it up, turn the header on, and do not thrash when crops are too wet. So you talking about real life situation right now? <laughs> yeah, we gotta wait till the dew dries. And you're probably wondering, what is this? Did we keep the 96 or the S? Hey, look there. I like it. Optimus, uh, what is it called? Uh, Optimus Prime on the Autobots. I used to love watching the Transformers folks. We do have a S790, but it's not the one we had. And, uh, yeah, this is a special header we got. I don't know you to see this header. You're probably going to be like Mr. Blue. That is not real. Get it? The real, real. <laughs> Let me get in here and fire this up and you see. The couple of last contracts I've been doing. Oop, wrong, wrong one. Um, 
unfold header. We almost hit the, uh, the tractor there. But it's three headers in one, folks. It's a 36 meter header. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. And I'm going to be. But our time is running out. And I'm trying to get as many contracts harvesting we can done. So, yeah. Just here, you see it says hire a worker. But it's, I don't know if it was the other field or not. Let me get that GPS line off of there. But it would not hire a worker. I had to drive it myself. But being 36 meters long, hey, you know. Well, we do have the baler right there. Um, we got our auger wagon. We got to get some trucks over here, which we got the one at the grain tanks. Um, I'm thinking about since we got so much money, go ahead and get them. Um, forgot what it's called. But anyway, I think we're done with this guy. We're going to get him back to the shop. Folks, I'm going to uh, get some things done. And I'll meet you back here in just a uh, second for y'all. Be right back. All right, folks, we're up here selling off the soybean straw um, from last episode. Better go ahead and get it out of the way. That way I can get this truck down there to field 27 so everything be ready to roll when it gets dry enough. Try to get all this in one sweep and see how much it's going to be. There we go. 6,488. Folks, we're up to 361 already. Um, also, the guy went ahead and paid us since we're in route. We, uh, I want to throw them in here, but we made, uh, of course, 50,000 on the, on the two dump trucks there. And then we also made 19,765 on the, uh, trailer to the old army truck there and in the army truck itself we made 59,353 like I said I'll be throwing them in as I'm talking and uh, yeah so that that's how we got up there to 361 so quick folks and you know what I'm getting on my tablet here and well, not that tablet well the same tablet just going to this page here um, Bill 48 is done, so we can collect that. Uh, they're transporting. We're going to do this, and then we're going to cancel. Make sure I'm canceling the right one. I hope. Yeah, yeah. I want to cancel that. Yes, and collect. Just getting it out of the way. So right now we got three harvests today. Field 27, Field 39, and Field 40. Ooh, field 40, we're probably not going to do. That's corn. This one here, 39, we might do it. Don't know. But that would be uh, probably use his equipment to do 39 if we do. I'm worried about 27. That's a lot of money right there, folks. But while we're here, um, I'm going to pay this loan back. All right, folks. We got 83000 left. And the loan is paid off. All right. Um, I'll be right back in a second. All right, folks. Just got everything unloaded out of the planter and stuff into the bags. And now we're going to try to see if it'll fit in here. I uh, hope oh. off the narrow. Uh, I just I don't, I don't know if it's gonna fit, folks. What do y'all think? This is the part that I'm not. I don't think it's gonna fit. It's 
is where I need a spotter. Um, no, that's that's not going to fit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, it will be. Boy, we got a problem. I got to back this thing out of here. I'm not cutting my wheels now, I'll have to cut them a little bit. Not much. Alright. Huh. We're going to need a bigger shed. They don't come too much bigger than that. Um, let's see. Let me park this thing out of the way somewhere. Probably wouldn't hurt put another shed up right. Get rid of some of those trees right there and kind of level that down. Put a shed there. <sighs> I should have saved some of that money, but hey, at least, at least the loan's paid off, folks. That's all that matters. I'm going to park this guy right here. And is that the right one? But like the tank stayed on. I want these uh, saddle tanks off, so we can uh, we're gonna hook up uh, some kind of tillage. Probably I don't know. We might just leave them on. I got enough money to get another uh, tractor like this and this uh, won't have the tanks on it for, for tillage maybe I don't know um, I can't get no fuel out of that tank there I don't know if pumps messed up on it or or what but we're going to try to fill up our tractor out of it. If not, we got our uh, thunder wagon down here. So, uh, as you can see, it's 11 after 11, and we still got the wet symbol, which is not good. Not good at all, folks. There's my log wagon. I was wondering where that was. I always hate getting out of this tractor because it's so hard to get it out of there. Right, we're going to go over here look inside this building. I ain't really been up here to do too much. Whoa! Can I fit through here? Squeeze. There we go. Oh, we got some leftover seeds and stuff over in here. I wonder. I don't know what's in those tanks. Be nice to all that it work in real life. Or, you know, on the game. Looks like a good spot for a repair shop right in here. We might do that since we got the grinder and the vice and uh, like two different vices. Never seen a black one or like that before, but yeah. Um, I guess yeah, you know, uh, it's for washing the top part of vehicles. I have no idea, folks. But folks, I do have an idea. It, it's getting late. I, I want to open this big door here. Not pull tractor in here or pull something in here. I guess the, I'm on the. I'm hoping they'll dry up pretty soon. I was hoping by 11 we could roll, but. Um. Oh, perfect timing. Let's take this out real quick. And he's even folding up for us. Stop the driver. We're just going to clear that out and clear that out. And oh boy. Same problem with field one. We'll have field 
two, thirteen, and fourteen. See, even the use of spraying nineteen. I want to go uh, check out those two spots in eighteen. I might run over here to three real quick and, and do it because uh, three was planted and then eighteen was planted. Was that right? Eighteen. Yeah, Phil 18 was planted at last. Uh, the, wow, or did you, Mr. Blue? Oh, and he would have us planted too. I don't know why. I'll keep one on the grass and one in the field and him probably like it's a motorcycle. I don't own a motorcycle, so the farmer might not know. <laughs> uh Look at those the trees, folks. I can't get over it. A beautiful time of the year. A little rough there. Don't have to cover it. And we should have a spot right out here. Yep, right on that first rut there. Can we see that right? Not really. Oh, I can't anyway. But anyway, folks, uh, I forgot to put this in. Probably about six or eight episodes ago. A couple, about a month or so. Uh, I want to thank all y'all for the 35,000 views on my channel. I really, really appreciate that, folks. It means a lot to me. Y'all mean a lot to me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, that should be right in here somewhere. Alright, it was right there. And stop. See if it goes away. See, a part of it went away. I'm looking right here, so watch right there. You can see, like, maybe three quarters of the spot goes away. I don't have the money for it, but I think I'm on a lease. And I hate to do this because I, I like the way this one looks. It's the black frame. You can raise the wings up and down on it. But if I lease this other boom, the one we had, you know, I, I sold it back to the marketplace, I'm going to lease it and try it back over to Field 1. If it does all that, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, unfold it. But I want to make sure, that isn't supposed to be a 120 foot boom too. But we'll find out that on the next episode, folks. It's 33 minutes after, or into the video. So I'm going to cut loose here. And uh, check out this boom off screen. And also fast forward time till it gets dry and take care of stuff in between uh, and what I mean by that is you know if we need to get a fertilizing contract or something like that we're going to jump in and accept it now we we got the did that go I'm out down to five. Bump that up. Feel, I mean, uh, feel 27. It's ours. It, it won't go nowhere, but um, this 14,000 one, looking pretty good, folks. And as far as the booms I was telling you about, let's go check them out real quick before we go. It should be right here, and we're gonna see. So here's this. This is the one we got right now. That's a 120 foot boom, and then we got then has it. Oh, right here. This in there. Uh, same length, I think. But that's that's it. It's, just, it's got a green boom. It's one that was working 
36.6 and we got 36.6 so it should be the same length boom so yeah but anyway folks uh, I'm gonna insert this little thing right here my 35,000 views uh, thank y'all for making or helping me reach this goal here uh, and uh, the other goal I got my main goal is I want to get to 1,000 family members folks 1,000 subs family members that's what I call them, family members that's what y'all are to me you're my YouTube family and, and some of y'all are in life family you know uh, uh, Colin Julian I, I actually met him in person we didn't record anything you know he's a vlogger uh, stuff like that happens uh, I wish I could meet quite a few I wish I could meet every one of y'all Five hundred and something, what, five eighty-nine. The last time I checked, uh, that's a lot of people meet at one time. But uh, not to say anything bad, but uh, just like any other uh, thing, something you know, just don't show up at somebody's house and like, oh, hey, I'm so and so. We might not know that, folks. We might not know who you are in person. So it, it's uh, not trying to down anybody or anything. Or what I'm trying to say is just don't show up to a person's house unexpected. You know, give it about a, a, a week, few days or something. Say, hey, can I drop by to see you? Yeah, you know, do that with anybody. That way you'll earn that person's respect and stuff. And that person won't be, you know, like, who is this guy? Do I really know him? And, and no, no, you probably do, but you just don't recognize the face due to the YouTube channel or something, you know? But anyway, I'm rambling on. Uh, I, I haven't had that happen yet with that, but. All right, good. That stands up unfolding. That's what I wanted. But, uh, <clears throat> our voice getting away with me. Alright, I'm empty. That's all that. I'm going to back up a little bit more. We're going to set this down. Drop out from under it. And I will test it off screen to see if it does any good. But, folks, like I said, thank you for the views, the likes, the comments. Um, if you can help me out and get me to a thousand subscribers family members to me uh, by sharing and stuff like that uh, at least uh, by end of the year I would like to meet I would love to get to 600 but a thousand would be awesome but try to get me to 600 anyway by the first of the year folks till then you have been watching Mr. Blue Farms, a.k.a. Tommy Miller, your host with not the most. And folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later.